Okay, for my strategy share, I did mine on sentence segmentation for my phonological awareness. Um, now this one is, it's kind of, I teach, e, I'm an ESC sport facilitator, so with that being said, I work a lot in the history department. I deal with a lot of lower level students. So even though this is more focused on the elementary, and actually not even elementary, the kindergarten and preschool era, or ages, this kind of helps um, working with students that have a reading disability as well, especially when you're dealing with sentences. So the example of the sentence segmentation is simply looking at the board. Um, you just break the sentences down. Um, you break it down into one word at a time. So just looking at it, uh, this sentence here, uh, which is a question, you just break it down. So you just see how many words are in each one. That would be the sentence segmentation. You just literally break it down. Now what I do is add a little bit of decoding with it. That way it can help some of my students um, that do have difficulties with reading tests and everything like that. So uh, this one here is a good example. This one says the influx of immigrants to the United States cause mass urbanization affecting cities in where, in what area. So a good way to kind of use sentence segmentation to break this down is literally break it up word by word. Okay, and I'll show you real quickly how to do that because when we do the history EOC, a lot of it's pretty complicated questions, and I use a little bit of decoding with this to make it a little bit easier to understand. So an example would be the influx of immigrants. We can kind of break this down itself. And influx, we can look at that and think about well, what does the influx mean? What does that word actually mean? What are they trying to figure out here? Um, an influx means an increase, all right? I, we can just write that to the side, increase. All right, immigrants, they know what that means at this time. Um, immigrants, people coming here to the United States. Um, maybe it says coming to the U.S. cause mass urbanization. We can even break this sentence down. Mass, all right, means large. Urbanization, so we're really fine, like unfamiliar words. Urbanization, that's the we've looked at in class, and that's just the rapid city movement. So moving to cities. Um, affecting cities in what area? So using that sentence segmentation, we can kind of break down the sentence and make it easy to understand. So instead of reading the influx of immigrants to the United States cause mass urbanization affecting cities in one area, we can read it as the increase of immigrants to the United States cause a large amount of people moving to cities affecting cities in which area. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier to understand. Um, and that's what I kind of have to do a little bit with some of my students because they do have a you know, the reading level's lower, their comp reading comprehension's kind of low, and it makes it to where we can break the word down and actually make the sentence make a little bit more sense and make it easier to answer. So for the most part, I do use a sentence segmentation, but combine it with a little bit of decoding, and it kind of works out to help them easier to understand. So that's one of the awarenesses that I wanted to use, and I hope you guys use it in your classroom, and I can answer any questions if you have it. Thank you.